Just a reminder before we start, we are in the second intermediate grade. We're in the first semester, our subject of course is English. Our lesson today is City Tour Grammar, presented and prepared by Muhammad Falata. So let's start. Okay, <laughs> what we are going to learn today? First, we are going to differentiate between verbs can and could. Then, the form and the use the verb of manners. Learn how to form and use the verb of manners. Okay, good, good, good. The warming up question, guys. What can you do? What can you do? The general question. What can you do? I can play. I can speak English. I can swim I can drive a car what about you what can you do give you a moment speak yes speak up I can and say what you can do okay question number two can you speak French if yes, you say, yes, I can. If not, you say, no, I can't. Okay? Don't you? This is a French word. How do you usually ride your bike? How do you usually ride your bike? How? Fast, slow, how okay let's start the ability the affirmative I always say the affirmative it means the sentence said yes okay the ability Are you able to ability you are able to we use I can swim very well so I'm able to swim very well okay I'm able he can cook he can he's able to cook okay he can cook I can swim very well the affirmative the negative form the negative the sentence says no I can't swim I can't I'm not able to swim he can't cook can't cook he not able to cook look at him look at him he's drowning look at all the eggs okay he can't cook he can't okay question how can I ask question can you swim can you swim can he cook? Can he cook? Can you swim? Yes, I can. Can he cook? No, I can't. Okay. The present and the past. In the present, we use I can speak French. I can speak French. In the past, I couldn't or I could, okay, this is negative, this is affirmative, I couldn't speak French when I was young. I couldn't. But now, in the present, I can. Okay? Do you get it? In the past, I couldn't speak French when I was young. But now, in the present, I can't speak French. So it's improvement. That's why we are going to learn. That's why we are learning English. In the past, you couldn't speak English. But in the present, you have to say to yourself, 
I can speak English. Okay? I hope you do. Okay, to have another example. In the present, Ahmed can't run fast now. But in the past, Ahmed could run fast when he was young. So this is not an improvement. Okay, Ahmed can't run fast now. Look at him. He's tired. But in the past, he could run fast. Could, we use it in the past. And can or can't, we use in the present. Okay? Exercise. I'll do some exercise and see. I didn't, okay, didn't take my umbrella with me because I can't or couldn't find it. I just underlined the keyword, didn't. So, which tense? is it and it depends if it's in the present we use can or can't in the past we use could couldn't okay so answer the number one please number two she can or can't buy the dress it's very expensive it's very expensive so she can or can't. Number three. My father, my father can or could play foot football very well when he was young. Okay? I'm talking here what? In the present or in the past? Focus. But now, he can't or couldn't. Easy, guys. My father can or could play football very well when he was young. But now, he can or couldn't. Give you a moment. Please answer and answer correctly. Okay. Okay, let's go to the answers now. First, didn't, couldn't, because didn't in the past. Use couldn't. She can or can't buy the dress. It's very expensive. She said it's very expensive, so she can't. Okay, keywords. There's something in any sentence tell you the answer okay you have to be focused read my father can or could play football very well when he was young so we are talking the past could but now in the present he can't okay he can't Adverbs of manner. Adverb of manner. Okay, adjectives. They usually describe the noun. Adjectives describe the noun. They usually come before noun. Okay? To the noun, let's see here. Example A nice house. House is the noun. Nice is the adjective. So it's describe the house. How is the house? The house is nice. Okay? Good. Book. This is the noun and this is the adjective. How is the book? The book is good. So, this is the adjective. Describe the book. The book is good. A good book. Nice house. Okay, just remember. 
Describe the noun. This is the noun, the house. Describe it. Nice house. Good book. And it usually comes before the noun. Before a noun. A good book. Not book good. Not house nice. Okay? Nice house and a good book. Let's go ahead. Adverbs. What is the meaning of adverbs? They usually describe how something happened. How something happened. Adjective describe the noun and adverb describe how something happened. They usually describe the verb. They usually describe the verb. Describe the verb. But in the adjective describe the noun and here describe the verbs. Okay? Ahmed drives the verb carefully. Ahmed drives carefully. So describe how Ahmed is driving. He's drive carefully. He's a good boy. He drives carefully. Okay? It's how we describe the verb. Okay? Again, adverb. They usually describe how something happened. They usually describe the verb. So, Ahmed drives carefully. Drives carefully. This is the verb. Drives carefully. It's the adverb. Okay? Describe the verb. How Ahmed is, how Ahmed is driving. He's driving carefully. Okay? Describe how something happened. Okay? We form most adverb of manners by adding ly. 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 Adjective. Nice. Adverb. Nicely. This is the ly. Okay? Careful. We add carefully. Ly. Quite. Quietly. Ly. Okay? Easy. Nice. Adjective. Describe the noun. Nice house. Nice book. Careful. Quite. And the adverb. Nicely. Carefully. Quietly. Okay? Let's go ahead. Adjective ending in a consonant. We know the consonant and we know you have to know the consonant guys. Consonant is not the vowels. We have vowels and we have consonant. Consonant plus Y. Add I L Y. For example happy happily easy easily okay happy happily easy easily ending in a consonant okay the vowels I'll tell you the vowels now a I O U and E. The five one, two, three, four, five vowels. The other letters the other letters are the consonants. Okay? Adjectives ending in L E. Drop the E and add Y. Example. Terrible. E. We drop the E. Terribly. Okay. L. Y. Here. We add Y. Gentle. E. We drop the E. We drop the E. Then we add Y. Gently. Okay. Let's do it again. Quickly. Happy. Ending in a consonant. Okay. Plus Y. Add I L Y. Happy, 
happily i l y easy easy i l y okay adjective ending in l e drop the e and add y terrible terribly gentle gently okay you drop the e and add y okay we form some adverb irregularly we have irregular adverbs for example good well fast fast the same hard hard the same okay good well fast the same fast hard and hard you have to save it some adverb are irregular okay okay we have this question please be careful the taxi driver was terrible. He drove. This is the verb. Describe the verb. I need your answers. The taxi driver was terrible. He drove what? Okay, number two. James is very polite. He's polite. He always speak to his teacher. What? He is polite. How something happened. Okay, please focus, focus. Okay, number three. Laura is good. Good, I think, is irregular. Okay, irregular. At languages, she speak Italian very blank. How something happened. Describe how something happened. Okay, let's see the answers. Terrible, terrible, everybody. Okay because terrible terribly polite politely how something happened good well this is irregular this is irregular okay you have to know the irregular and regular adverbs okay okay this is the end of our lesson today just a quick review about what we took today very easy please focus can and could can in the present could in the past I can I could I can't I couldn't in the question can you or could you okay it is the negative it is the affirmative adverb of manner nice nicely careful carefully happy happily terrible terribly good well late late okay you have to know the regular irregular the e okay we drop the e okay the end of consonant we add i l y you have to know that review it all and that's all thank you very much and see you next class goodbye guys Oh